the King George's Medical University is one of the largest hospital complexes in North India. The 3,000 bedded hospital is spread across a kilometer and a half in Lucknow, the capital of Uttar Pradesh. Each day thousands of patients are treated here and hundreds of students attend the medical college. It's known as a poor man's hospital. People travel from across North India to receive affordable health care here. However, with the ratio of one nurse to every 60 patients and limited human and financial resources, managing biomedical waste was a challenge. Until 2010, nearly 2,500 kilograms of waste generated every day were simply disposed of in the open, raising the possibility of spreading diseases. A partnership with the United Nations Development Program and the Ministry of Environment and Forests, Government of India, financed by the Global Environment Facility, has changed this. दो सालों से काफी सुधार है पहले तो कचरा इधर उधर सब पड़ा रहता था नीडल्स और जितने भी प्लास्टिक आर्टिकल से सब इधर उधर पड़े रहते थे मगर अब जब से ये बायोमेडिकल वेस्ट का प्रोग्राम शुरू हुआ है उससे काफी मतलब इम्प्रूवमेंट है। After an initial assessment, KGMU formed a biomedical waste management committee with nodal officers. They introduced good waste management practices through a comprehensive training program. Staff was made to understand that an effective waste management system not only preserves the environment, but also protects patients, health workers, waste workers and the community. Within three years, segregation and waste minimization efforts dramatically reduced the amount of infectious waste generated by 80%. Today, waste is segregated into various categories using different colored bins and brought to a hub from where it is transported to a central treatment site. If you talk about a hospital, around 80 to even 90% of the waste is non-infectious general waste only 10 to 20 percent is biomedical waste. So if you are not segregating the waste, then you are actually making this 20 percent to increase up to 100 percent and then you have to treat the whole 100 percent of waste which is being generated in the hospital. All hospital waste which was earlier left in the open and was the responsibility of sweepers is now transported in covered rickshaws by trained workers and brought to a treatment center. The collection worker importantly no longer comes in contact with waste. A unique waste tracking system guards against pilferage along the way. Each bag is collected and weighed. Details are scanned into a computer so that the team can ensure that each bag reaches the treatment center. Instead of incineration, which releases highly toxic dioxins, furans and other pollutants, KGMU installed environmentally friendly steam treatment units called autoclaves to sterilize the waste. This follows the Stockholm Convention on Persistent Organic Pollutants which India has ratified and which gives priority to technologies such as autoclaves which do not generate dioxins and furans. After treatment, the sterilized plastics and glass are shredded and sent to recycling centers, thereby reducing the impact on landfills and generating valuable revenue for the hospital. Having a system is another thing and maintaining a system is very important after that. So uh, for maintaining a system you need to have some uh, revenue or some funds and if you are generating from the biomedical waste it's, it's something very commendable. The project also dealt with mercury waste, a toxic substance that is found in hospitals and can cause harm if discarded improperly. KGMU implemented a mercury waste management system and began replacing mercury thermometers, blood pressure meters and dental amalgam with mercury-free alternatives. After this implementation of this program, lot of changes are there. Uh, the segregation is being done very properly. Everybody is aware about this waste management. Nodal officers are working very hard. So it has come up to the, uh, you can see up to the optimum level what should be there. Now we are main, trying to maintain this. I hope we will be successful for doing this. While India has taken many steps over the past few decades to address pollution caused by healthcare waste, 
it is estimated that only about 50% of the country's 85,000 hospitals and healthcare facilities properly segregate, transport and treat their waste. Today, KGMU serves as an important model of excellence in healthcare waste management practices and holds vital lessons for India's healthcare system in realizing the objective of health without harm.